Great danger lies ahead, sire. Ha! I am Bubonic the King, and I spit in the face of danger. What kind of danger, Jacob? Oh! Out of my way, you overgrown lizard! Maggot! <laughs> Well, it strikes and sizzles. That was quite a dream, Maurizio. I was a king, and 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 there was a dragon that turned into that mealy mouth maggot oh. and ruined my wonderful dream. Mealy mouth, am I? <laughs> Come here, you insolent incompetent! I want a word with you. Yes, sir. And do you have any idea where I usually am this early? Uh huh. In bed? Yes! In bed! Asleep! But here I am once again telling my two irritating inept huh? wizards that they had better cast a spell or they will rue the day they were born! Do you understand? Yeah, yes, sir. Bobotic! Where's my breakfast? Have mercy, Mr. Maggot. Auntie Ty's had the flu for two days, and I've had to wait on her hand and foot. That's why we don't have a spell. That is not my problem. <laughs> you shall keep these ears until you've cast a spell on the city. You inexcusable excuse for a wizard. <laughs> Master Jacobo, my head feels like it's on fire. Wow, Bubby, where's my breakfast? I'm weak with hunger. And why are you wearing that ridiculous thing on your head? I have bad news. Speak louder, Bubbo. My ears are all plugged up. I bring bad news instead of breakfast. Maggot was here. He wants another spell immediately. Oh, I'm too sick to do spells. If you were any kind of nephew, you'd be more concerned with my health instead of... <laughs> Why, Bobo, you never look better! <laughs> oh, 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 don't make me laugh! <laughs> it's not funny! Maggot won't get rid of these appendages until we come up with a spell! Not until I feel better. That could take days. He wants a spell now. Too bad for you. Bobo, rub my feet like a good nephew. Remember who put you through a wizard school? Who can forget? You remind me every day. What's that? I said I can do this spell alone, Auntie. Just give me your half of the parchment. I would never trust you to make a spell on your own. Not in your wildest dreams. <laughs> Besides, I bet you don't even have a spell to cast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll bring the cauldron here. We'll do the spell together, cause I have a great one! Hey, Maurizio, want a snack? Mm. Hey! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man! Maurizio! Maurizio! Come on down, <laughs> kitty! You can do it! Just grab onto that branch, Maurizio! Easy for him to say, I hate heights! Men don't know anything about cats. I'd better call for some proper help. By the power, hail and hearty, of an earthquake on a roll! Through these parts, be part and party of the one and only scroll! 
formula of deepest night. If it's you, then show your might. Join what once was winter to thunder to the sound of flames and thunder. Ready, set, one push. Mega magic, mega magic, retro potion. And just what sort of spell are we cooking up? A few? Hey, time reversal spell, Auntie. We're going to send the city back to the Middle Ages when life was hard. It was the time before you were sick. You thought we'll learn today. My best chess set, <laughs> but it'll be worth it. There you go, kitty cat. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Poor Maurizio. You must have been scared stiff. You deserve a little treat for being so brave. <laughs> Don't you have more important things to do than rescue some cat chief hydrant? You were supposed to wash my car this morning. Ready, Auntie? <laughs> oh, potent bowl of omnipotent <laughs> potion. Now <laughs> hear our wish and grant us a notion. We don't want to play it as it lay. We'd rather go back to the good old days. When men were knights so bold and brave. Was king and she my slave, with no more power so she might be saved. <laughs> what was that? Saved me my she so powers more no with. Slave my she and king was I and brave when bold were nights when. Days old goodly, too bad go rather weed. Maze it as it play to want to win. In seven hours, the spell will be permanent! Oh, that gives me some time to rest again. <laughs> oh, so there you are. I should have known food would be involved. Oh, Jacob, I've had a most frightening experience. Food gives me comfort. Come, Maurizio, we need to get back and find out what evil those wizards are brewing. Aren't you ready yet? Take this as well. Oh. Oh. Strange. Somehow I remember giving orders, not taking them. Quiet, Knave. That was supposed to have my armor polished this morning. <laughs> oh, what a spell. I just love being the king. <laughs> Wake up, royal begins. Hmm. Do I cut a rakish figure or what? Ready for some entertainment? <laughs> Send in the jester! <laughs> well, don't you stand there? So start jesting! You are the most boring jester in medieval history! Get out of my sight! <gasps> Captain of the guard! Yes, sire? Wake my ante in waiting. It's time for my noon meal. Your wish is my command, O King! We must.
must do something. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do I mean? The spell. We must reverse this demeaning medieval spell before the seven make that five and a half hours are up and it becomes permanent. Well, as far as spells go, this one isn't so bad. Uh, I mean... Mauricio, yeah. we must save the city from this spell. Uh, uh, but I'll miss lunch. The king said we're going to have mutton chops and potatoes au gratin with hollandaise sauce on the side. <laughs> And he in waiting? How dare you wake me from my sleep! Who are you? Captain of the Guard! Time for the nude meal! Ah, a gallant knight! I see! The spell must have worked! Good! I'm starved! <laughs> and I no longer feel sick! Woohoo! Yeah! The spell has worked like a charm! <laughs> Welcome to the Middle Ages! <laughs> the king wants his noon meal, now! The who wants what? The king, King Bubonic. King Bubonic? That wasn't part of the spell. Why, that miserable little nephew! I'll make him sick! Father, why must we toil so hard? Because we're serfs, son. Because we're serfs. And we have to work the land for the king. Huh? But that's the Cozies. What are they doing here? What happened to them? Uh, they look weird. They work for the King Bubonic, as all the serfs of Megalopolis. They are growing crops that they will then bring to their king. Well, then, life was happier for them before. Uh, I mean, after. Mm -hmm. You see? And you royal big lazy cat, you were too busy eating and sleeping to see what was going on. Now you understand? Yeah. Only four hours to reverse this spell of medieval misery. Forgive me, Jacob. I've been blinded by the good life. Well, let's go find Auntie Noah. If the zoo is still there, my friend. Oh, you swindling spellcaster! You think you're pretty clever, don't you, nephew? I am not a nephew, madam. I am the king! Eh, yeah, the king of what, fools? I am the king of all that you see, as far as you can see. And you are but a lowly serf whose sole job is to serve me. <laughs> now, <laughs> give me a thumb. And maybe you'd like those donkey ears back. I can do magic as well as magus. Huh? Uh, are you through, Andy? You... you've taken my powers! Very observant! It only proves you never had any in the past. Why, you sniveling little... Now, rub my feet, or I'll have you thrown into the dungeon. Never in a million years! Put her in the dungeon with the big rats. Bread and water until she changes her so-called mind. Very well. Now rub your feet. Kick, kick, kick. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. <clears throat> oh, very good. And after this, see to my lunch. Maps never lie, Maurizio. This is the exact spot where the zoo should be. Or where it was in the good old days, I mean the good new... You know what I mean. But where are the animals? Where's Auntie Noah? That's what we must find out. Phew! And to think, I gave up mutton chops and holiday sauce for this! Auntie Noah! Uh, I need to rest, Jacob. Auntie Noah! What kept you, boys? This time, those wizards have gone too far. This used to be a beautiful zoo, and now look at it. It's a morass. A medieval morass, Auntie Noah. Not only here, but the whole city. Everything has changed. And not for the better. We need a riddle. Uh, how about a nice fairy tale? I'm sick of riddles. Uh, no, Auntie. A fairy tale won't help us. Oh, all right. The solution, it seems, may appear like a dream. And the dragon from there makes the dreamer beware. 
awake, you must complete the dream and make the dreamer scream the scream. Huh? The dragon from there? Oh, I don't like this, Jacob. Auntie, dragons are just a myth. I don't know about a myth, but dragons don't exist, do they? If you say so, but I had relatives in ancient times who were dragons. Good luck, boys. Dragon from there. Dragon from there. If it's there, so it stays there. I'm sure the dragon reference is just metaphorical. I hope that's just a fancy way of saying not real. Where are we going? To find a dragon. We are in ancient times. <gasps> Twim my nose hairs, Angie in waiting. This time I wish somebody would break this spell. There's no dragon here, Jacob, because they don't exist. They're just metaphysical, uh, me me metallurgical. Metaphorical, which means that Auntie Noah must be referring to some other kind of dragon. But what? Hey, <sighs> what's going on? <laughs> <coughs> nice dragon. <laughs> Metaphorical, huh? He's real. Who are you? J Jacob and M Maurizio. Sure, you can eat me, but know that when you do, it's the end of a long line of noble felines who... Quiet! You're making it worse. Ah, <laughs> uh, back up her right. My cuspid. It hurts. Toothache, huh? No wonder. That bicuspid's rotten. It should be removed. Oh, this better work. You promised you wouldn't eat us. Didn't say anything about not roasting you, did I? Do it. solution, it seems, may appear like a dream, and the dragon from there makes the dreamer beware. Awake, you must complete the dream, and make the dreamer scream the scream. No, oh, this time I'm really stuck. What's all this dream business? Wait, Jacob. Bubonic had a dream this morning. He was the king, and there was a dragon in it that turned into maggot. Bubonic woke up uh, screaming. Uh, hmm. How much time is left, Maurizio? Under one hour. Hmm. Bubonic is the dreamer, so we should introduce him to our new friend, so when he wakes up, he'll jump out of his skin. What time does Bubonic take his afternoon nap? Four o'clock sharp. He never misses. Do you have a plan? Just remember, move your mouth, but don't talk. I'll do all the talking. Ready? Well, well, if it isn't an inept wizard who thinks he's king. My God! Of course. Don't you remember me? My, my dream. Am, am I dreaming again? Not a dream, Bubonic. <laughs> Your worst magic! <laughs> it's just a dream again. Then I haven't really been king. This has all been a dream. Yes, yes, the spell's been broken somehow. What are you doing here, Hydrant? Huh? Uh, uh, I just came by to wash your car, Mayor. Well, don't just stand there. What are you waiting for? Uh, my hat? Uh, oh. Oh, now it's my turn, you miserable excuse for a nephew! No, it's just a misunderstanding, Auntie. Maggot was right about you, nephew, but he didn't go far enough! Hee-haw! Hee-haw! Very funny. And did you forget donkeys? Have a little cake. 
Congratulations, Tyrania. You finally did something I actually approve of. Why, thank you. But, mm -hmm. like our donkey friend here, you are also a complete failure as a wizard. But, but I had nothing to do with that spell. Oh. Which is the only reason I will share my delightful punishment of this jack. <laughs> And you. Oh, I will. Now, now, Andy, remember, we're all family here. Unfortunately, and it really burns me up. <laughs> there is one thing I shall miss about the short reign of King Bubonic. Don't tell me the king-sized meals. Alas, no. Seeing you in that hat with all the little bells. up to liven it up. Perfect! Orange juice the old fashioned way. <laughs> Just like nature's nectar dipped in sweet golden sunshine. No, oh, very well. I'll give this confounded contraption of yours a try. Oh, boy. Did you forget about the lid? Modern technology are like oil and water. You just don't mix. Ha, nonsense. I just forgot. I'll bet you anything I could use any modern gadget just as well as you. Very well, Bobo. I'll give you three chances to prove you can operate one of my so-called gadgets, which I will choose. If you succeed, I will wash every window in your relic-filled room. But if you fail, you will wash all of mine with this. Ha, you've got a bet. <laughs> Anyone can work one of these things. Now, where's the start button? <laughs> 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 Yeah! <laughs> 
If you get thirsty, bubs, you can always whip up a tall, refreshing orange juice with my blender. As if. <laughs> it's your confounded technological trash that got me into this situation in the first place. Blast all modern gadgets and modern people. Blast them all to <laughs> As long as you are voicing complaints, allow me to air one of my own. Oh, very impressive. I've never seen an organizer that small. No, that is small. Now then, according to my records, you notoriously negligent nincompoops have been given a code N status. Code N? Oh, does this mean we're getting a promotion? No, you infuriatingly inveterate incompetent! It means the High Council will soon charge you with gross negligence if you do not successfully concoct an evil spell as clearly stipulated in your contract. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Mr. Maggot! That's Maledictus T. <laughs> Well, Auntie, we might have to cast a spell, but at least my window washing days are over. It's titanium with self-replacing super rubber. Another miracle of modern technology. You and modern technology. If I had my way, everyone who went around using modern technology would be boiled in witch's brew. You old-fashioned fossil, if you had your way, everyone would still be grunting, groaning, caveman! You mean a Neanderthal nuisance like you? Hey, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> Why couldn't everyone be cavemen again? Bobkins, what are you getting at? Andy, don't you see? Together we could cast a spell that will turn the city's entire population into cavemen. They'll be completely befuddled by modern technology. Chaos will swiftly follow, and Maggot will be majorly mollified. Yes, yes, and I'll be the most modern woman in town! Why, I'll be totally cutting edge. Huh? <laughs> Tyrannium! <laughs> By the power, hail and hearty, on an earthquake, on a roll! Prove the sparks be part and party of the one and only scroll! Such a beautiful 
terrible sight since I last looked in the mirror! Yes, but I never expected animals to become prehistoric. After all, dinosaurs and cavemen didn't exist at the same time, Andy. I know, I know. Something must have gotten crossed during the incantation when we said city life looks prehistoric. And nobody ever said Mega Magic was perfect for me. <laughs> Jacob, you look pretty prehistoric, too. Uh, well, don't worry. We're still heroes on the inside. And we still have the power to go to Auntie Noah's and break this prehistoric spell. Easy, Jacob. I got ya. I'll say. Watch those saber teeth. Sorry. Our first successful spell! I'll have plenty of new digital photos to impress Maggot! I'd let you take a few of these primitives, Bobby, but oh, I forgot! You're rather primitive yourself when it comes to button pushing! You sure know how to push my buttons, Auntie. Historic natives seem friendly. Yeah, looks like they can't wait to meet us. I'm getting too old for this. Positively prehistoric. Gotta be a way to rescue him. I gotta get a shot of that! 
Changed, Auntie Noah. The humans have become a bunch of missing links. All they want to do is destroy things, make loud, annoying noises, and eat poor, defenseless animals. I know, but what has the spell done to them? That is the spell. It's turned them all into cavemen. Oh my, that certainly sounds serious. Well, I had better give you a riddle right away then, hadn't I? I have it. <laughs> I hope you don't mind if we hide here for a while. All of a sudden, everybody in the zoo is an animal hunter. What problem? Auntie Noah, the riddle! Of course. <clears throat> Invention is the art that gave transportation its start. Now find one willing human soul who'll make the old rock roll. is the art that gave transportation its start. Something must have been invented that gave transportation its start. But what? What? A wheel, of course. According to my studies of human history, the invention that gave transportation its start was the wheel. But the riddle said something about making the old rock roll. It didn't mention anything about rubber. <laughs> Maurizio, prehistoric humans made the first wheel out of a rock. Huh? Now, all we have to do is get one of our modern cavemen to do the same. Pumpkins, aren't you done yet? Just a tad more! Ooh. beginning to see the possibilities. Come on, guys. Take that next step on the road of human progress. Well, at least we helped him invent chewing gum. We need to think of something soon, Jacob. I know, I know. What's it going to take to inspire them to build a wheel? That's the difference between us and those primitives. We can put four new tires on our car without a hitch. If we could only get our caveman crew to see the car, they might start thinking we'll. Yeah, but they need eagle eyes. Not if we move them in for a close-up. Follow me! Here we are! Come and get us! We should be able to draw them in close to the car! After our three good tires! Oh, they're just after those two ugly beasts! But you better step on it, Bobby! These Neanderthals have lousy aim! Oh, did you hear that? Our masters called us ugly beasts. I cannot believe this is the species that had the genius to put rockets on the moon and invent cats up. Well, you can believe there are only three minutes left until the spell is permanent. And we'll be ugly beasts forever. Of course. The riddle said invention is the art, and he's the artist. Uh, yes, he's got an 
our hint and invented the wheel, right? Wrong, my friend. It's not officially a wheel until it's completely round. Forgive me, Morito, but I need to they... borrow your teeth. No, use the chisel. Uh, one minute to go. Uh... <laughs> I'm seeing double. Did we do it? I'm seeing a double hunting party. Oh, we're prehistory. That's it. He got the rock to roll. We did it! We're ourselves again! And so's everybody else! Don't worry, kids! Help is on the way! Uh, perhaps if we beg and plead enough, Maggot will refrain from punishing us. Yeah, and perhaps it'll snow in Tahiti, which is probably where we should go to hide. It will do you no good. I have offices there. Now, I trust you dual dimwitted dolls are prepared to receive yet another punishment. Actually, uh, most exalted excellency, if you could spare us just this once, I can assure you that our very next spell will not only meet, but exceed your highest expectation. <laughs> Get serious. Hey, Ansel Adams, did you find the perfect shot yet? Easy, Jacob. You know we creative artists have to be inspired, and I don't want to blow this shot. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I think we capture a whole lot more with Ty's video camera. Why don't you fly up and get it? <laughs> is one of the top ten dangers found at the beach. Uh-huh. And of those sunburn tops, the list of serious dangers? Mm-hmm. And speaking of serious dangers, that suitcase is seriously stuffed. I will not take the risk of running out of supplies. There we go. Yeah. Perfect. 
Yeah, perfectly dumb. Just why you're taking all this stuff is a mystery to me. We're not moving. We're just going on a... Ooh, vacation. A much-needed vacation, my dear Jacob. I don't know how you feel. I need a break. Huh? You're doing me asthma. Now that's frightening. You, you can't possibly go out in public like that, Auntie. But then again, that would be a curse in itself. <laughs> You're such a prude, nephew. Have you got it? Want it? <laughs> oh, uh, perhaps I, I could use a little outer beauty to match my inner. <laughs> Ooh, aren't I a babe? Now you're ready for our vacation! But it's nice here. What do I need a beach for? Who will be coming up with spells for the city? <laughs> you don't get it, Bubby. We need to get out and schmooze more. Find out what really irks people these days. You know, do a little wretchedness research. <laughs> See? Think of this vacation as research. We're all gonna have such fun! A real family vacation! <laughs> And what a delightful way to avoid that old stick in the mud maggot! Allow me. Why, thank you. <laughs> maggot! <laughs> Why, what, what a delightful surprise! That's Mr. Maledictus T, maggot to you, you blubbering buffoon. <laughs> and just where do you bathing beasties think you're going? <laughs> Tell him, Auntie dear. After all, it was your idea. Well, uh, um, uh, you see, your wickedness, in order to produce a truly sinister spell, I thought we should get out among the citizenry and do a little fright inquiry. You know, see what really works. Enough! Oh, 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 the... <laughs> what? There. That should keep you bumbling beach bums from going anywhere. Now get your prodigious posteriors back in there and conjure a grand spell. A huge spell. A giant spell. Or suffer some serious consequences. Tattletail! Great. Adios, that liar. Yeah, great. Now we just have to deal with another spell. Oh, baby, I've got the... Oh, I'm not going on vacation. Beach blanket blues. Pipe down, Maurizio. How can I eavesdrop on the wizards with you making that racket? Well, aren't we touchy? Shame to. It's just a thing a nice vacation could have cured. Oh, my feet. Oh, can it, Bubonic? Stop whining and get to work. Maggot, that idiot, wants to ruin our vacation, but I won't let him. I can't work my feet. You heard that, cockroach. I want a grand spell, a huge spell, a giant spell. Well, let's put our best foot forward! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> sorry. I know. Let's make them all into giants. There is our grand, huge spell. <gasps> Hop on over here, nephew. I need your half of the scroll. Jacob, what's going on? Jacob! <laughs> <laughs> When you're through complaining about your feet, maybe we can get some work done! By the power, hail and hearty, of an earthquake on a roll! Prove me, squats me, part and party, of the one and only scroll! Formula of deepest night, if it's you, then show your might! Join the 
what once was rent asunder to the sound of flames and thunder. Ready, set, let's march! <laughs> 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 oh my god! A measuring tape? No! <laughs> A copy of Gulliver's Travel? My quadruple XL bikini? <laughs> Hang on, where would I put that in? Oh, potent bowl of omnipotent potion! Now here I wish and grant us an ocean! Oh my god! This now we choose to impose that the humans start to grow their feet! No! That's what you're talking about! Oh no! No! Don't! Oh, potent bowl of omnipotent potion, do not hear Bobotic's wish! you. I am not putting my name on this one. I have had it. I'm out of here. Let's go on vacation. Jacobo, kitty kids, where are you? We're going to the beach. Now that's good news. Oh. Isn't this relaxing, Bobby? Gee, am I having fun yet? Ah, uh, too bad you can't relax and smell the roses, Jacob. Roses? Indeed. Oh, we don't even know what spell our masters have cast, Maurizio. It was so quick, unusually so. Uh, it was just like always. And like always, their spell will have fizzled. Look on the bright side, Jacob. We've got sunshine, blue sky. <laughs> hey! Ow! Ow! He got! I just cannot go on! My feet are killing me! <gasps> huh? Huh? Mine too. Strange. My shoes feel too small. Even though I don't notice anything strange, I am staying on guard. Your problem, Jacob, is that you don't know when enough is enough. Their spell failed. Hey! <laughs> wow! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> say we've just discovered the spell. The city must be in trouble. Big foot trouble. Come on, we've got work to do. <laughs> With our spell out of the way, now we can really start enjoying ourselves, Bobby. So be a dear and sunscreen my back, won't you? Hmm. Thank you. Ah! 
<laughs> well, nothing out of the ordinary so far. Hey, kick the ball, not my knee! Cry, honey. We'll find some nice new bunny slippers to fit you, I promise. No! <laughs> I don't want it! I want this one! <laughs> they better have extra, extra, extra large sizes! This could become very dangerous. Come now, Jacob. How bad can Big Feet truly be? Ask an ant after it's been stepped on. The ball! Get the ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! The ball! Could be trouble brewing. Make that big trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hope we can stay that way till we get to the zoo. <laughs> this Big Feet spell is wreaking havoc on the city. Not to mention on my vacation plans. So what do you say, Auntie Noah? Got a riddle to help save the day? Let me see now. Oh, yes, here's one. <laughs> <clears throat> to one who goes barefoot, you see, find a shoe, waterproof. They'll walk on water eventually. Then the spell will soon go poof. <sighs> That's it, boys. Nap time. Ow! I gotta get a light in here. Would you please stop moping and help me think? The spell becomes permanent in three more hours. Oh, I'll try. But it's hard when I think of how much fun the wizards must be having. Hey! <laughs> no! This is all because you couldn't control your spell! Dumb feet! Oh. I cannot wear shoes anymore. And without shoes, I can't play soccer. To one who goes barefoot, you see, find a shoe waterproof. They'll walk on water eventually, then the spell will soon go poof. Kip could be the one who goes barefoot. We can't get those big feet into his shoes. Then we just need to find bigger shoes that fit. I have an idea. <laughs> Maurice, you just get on with it. Patience, dear friend. A trained singer always warms up his vocal cords. And now to make beautiful music. Me. <laughs> Now what? <laughs> these will do. You call these big enough? That's it, Jacob. I'm putting my foot down right now. Huh, you know Annie Noah. She's not to be taken too literally. Jacob, do you see what I see? His feet have grown bigger yet. I can't play soccer. I can't ride my bike. I can't do anything. 
anything anymore. Oh, the masters really put the foot in it this time. They did such a slapdash job that they did not finish the spell. And now we're dealing with an expandable spell. No way will they ever fit. We have to try. We have no choice. Target in place, then shoot away. Looks like we bombed out. And we've only got two hours to go before the spell is permanent. And the way it is going, I imagine that in two hours, people's feet will be as big as a cruise ship. Cruise ships? Waterproof? Find a shoe? Waterproof? Well, shake my tail feathers. What? What's happening? What's happening is that we should always believe Auntie Noah. She was right once more. Let's go. I'll explain on the way. <laughs> what we need. When it comes to sardines, I am unbeatable. Okay, Maurizio, all you have to do is rub yourself on these legs and meow. That's what cats do, you know. Rub his legs. Rub his legs? Did you see the size of his feet? I don't want to be one of those fur mats, you know. We have no choice, Maurizio. I am sure he will follow you. How else can we get him to the river? I am the one doing all the work, and I should be on vacation. There you are. Hey, stop tickling me. <laughs> well, you don't seem to mind my big feet. <laughs> Hold on, Maurizio. <laughs> Maurizio! <laughs> that looks like a lot of fun. I'd like to try that. You've given me a cool idea, Maurizio. Great job, Maurizio. It's working out. He has noticed the boats. <laughs> Please don't disturb me. You better be quick about it. I can't hold on much longer. <laughs> To one who goes barefoot, you see, find a shoe waterproof. Only one more second. What's he waiting for? Ah. Fantastic! Look at my feet. They're normal size again. <laughs> we did it, Mauricio. The spell is broken. Good thing, too. I was really getting fed up. Oh, look at that. Kittykins hasn't touched a tidbit of his seaside sushi. And my Jacobu hasn't taken a bite of his birdseed in a coconut. <laughs> <laughs> So good to fit back into the old jogging shoes. Huh? What happened to their big feet, Andy? <laughs> well, well. Seems you two sea serpents would rather spend time at the seashore than conjure a satisfactory spell. But, Mr. Maggot, sir! No buts about it, you surfside slacker! You and your nephew are about to be beached! <laughs> yes, I could get used to this. You missed a spot. Oh, vacations. Oh, humbug! 
Come on, Maurizio. Let's go swim. No, thank you. I swam enough for one day. So, Jacob, my friend, what do you think the wizards will try next? Can't worry about that now, Maurizio. I'm on vacation. <laughs>